Greetings everybody, a happy happy new year to you, may 2022 be your best year yet Proverbs 4.18 says the path of the just, the path of the righteous is like the light at dawn shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day So may 2022 be your best and your brightest year yet And in the last couple of weeks uh, Psalm 65 has really been stirring me And in that psalm it says the Lord crowns the year with his goodness and his paths drip with abundance so may your year be crowned with his goodness and his paths dripping with abundance and you know that god's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and he also meets you with the blessings of goodness amen and so may 2022 be your best year yet and early in psalm 65 it says talking to god it says you water the earth you water it abundantly or rather you visit the earth and water it abundantly and the last couple of weeks it's been raining so much it's been raining nearly every day and i believe that's a, a foreshadow or a sign of things to come there's a principle in 1 corinthians 15 first the natural and then the spiritual so i believe it is a foreshadowing of the outpouring of the holy spirit this year and and just waves of his glory and grace washing over the earth because in the last days he shall pour out his spirit upon all flesh and the Holy Spirit has been poured out and, and we're going to experience him in greater measures and greater ways than ever before. Amen. And so on this prophetic moment video, I just wanted to share a couple of words that I've received for 2022. Um, and the, the specific ones the Lord gave me was 2022, the year of redeeming love and unleashed grace. And so I don't know what season you find yourself in, but it's a, a new year, so a new season. And Isaiah 43, 18 says, Behold, the Lord is doing a new thing. And for my wife and I, that has meant a, a move to Cape Town for the year. As you, I don't know if you can see, but there's ca uh, Table Mountain in the distance there behind me. And yeah, there's a beautiful mountain this side as well. Uh, so a beautiful little spot that I'm in here. Um, but while we were driving to Cape Town uh, to collect the keys for our new place and also to drop our things, I noticed that Giselle was wearing a red shirt. And I said, you're wearing the color of the season. And red has been a significant color for us just the last couple of months. And so I just randomly said, you're wearing the color of the season. And then she looked down at the book that she was reading to me. And she said, this book is also the color of the season. And when she said that, it was a Holy Spirit moment to me. And the book that she was reading was the book Redeeming Love. And, and so in that moment, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, 2022 is the year of redeeming love. It's the season of redeeming love. And appropriately, the book Redeeming Love is being released as a movie um, this beginning of this year in January. And even more appropriately, it was filmed in Cape Town. And so I believe that's very significant and even just the thoughts of it stir within me all the prophecies about the fire starting at the southern tip of Africa and Cape Town's major role in that and and all of those juicy goodies that heaven has been revealing about South Africa's purpose, South Africa's destiny and this great awakening that we're in. So I'm super excited. The year of redeeming love and then second, the year of unleashed grace. And when we got home after dropping all of our things, I started reading a book about grace again, randomly in a sense. And I was getting excited about grace and just stirred up all over again. And then uh, my in-laws dog named Pom Pom came and sat next to me on the couch while I was reading this grace book. And she started nuzzling me and then eventually put her head under my hand. And I was like, what's going on? And when she did, I realized that her leash was still on. We'd taken her for a walk earlier and her leash was still on and she was trying to get me to take it off. And what's funny was that while that was happening, I was reading about grace being leashed or um, being unleashed rather. And so let me get it here. Uh, I need to, I don't know this off by heart, so let me open up my journal and, and get it for us. There we go. Okay, so as you, as Pom Pom was nothing me and I realized her leash was on I was reading this in the book it says we believe in grace but we've got to draw the line somewhere we've got to put a leash on grace before it runs free and breaks of our, out of our gated community and he was just um, referencing the church and how people 
are, are scared of grace and try to put a leash on grace and then as I took the leash off of Pom Pom then I read continued reading and the next subheading was unleashed and then it said but grace has no leash it's untamed unbound and runs wild and free hallelujah wild and free and so in that moment another holy spirit moment i felt like the lord said 2022 the year of unleashed grace the leash being taken off so that grace can run wild and free and we can run wild and free it's time to get the wildness back it's time to get the freedom back because where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom stand fast in the freedom wherewith you have been made free by jesus christ amen and we do not frustrate the grace of god because if righteousness comes by the law then christ died in vain galatians 2 21 so may 2022 be your best year yet and may it be a year of redeeming love and unleashed grace amen and amen